County Cork, three days in Cork City. Cork is the second largest city in the Republic of Ireland. Sitting on an island in the middle of the River Lee, originally a monastic settlement, Cork was expanded by Viking raiders around 9.15. The city is full of things to see and do, but this is what we did on our three days in Cork. After we went for a walk around the city, we went to the Crawford Art Gallery, which is free admission, dedicated to the visual arts, both historic and contemporary. At the heart of the collection is a collection of Greek and Roman sculpture casts, brought to Cork in 1818 from the Vatican Museum in Rome. Next stop, another spot that is free of charge, Elizabeth Fort. Travel back in time to Cork's 17th century star-shaped fort. Enjoy stunning views of the city while walking the walls. Originally built as a defensive fortification on high ground outside the city walls, the city eventually grew around the fort and it took on various other roles, including use as a military barracks, a prison and police station. Since 2014, the fort has seen some development as a tourism heritage site. You mustn't forget to visit the English market. Cork's iconic English market has been trading since 1788, one of the oldest and certainly the best covered markets in Europe. It has survived famine, flood, war, fires and multiple recessions to remain a strong part of Cork's retail environment. On our second day we went to Fota. Fota Wildlife Park has its own train station. You can easily take the train from Cork City. We did it and Fota is just outside the train station. So easy to get there and in only 10 minutes. Fota Wildlife Park is an excellent place to visit for people of all ages. Some animals roam free mixing with the visitors. It is the best zoo in Ireland. There is a cheetah run every day and in the summer they add more animal feedings. On the way to our hotel we found a church called Shandon Bells and Tower, St Anne's Church. Unfortunately, it was closed when we went, but when open you can go up. There are 132 steps in total to reach the viewing balcony. Along the way you get to ring bells and see some interesting features, like the mechanism of one of the largest cage clocks in Europe. On the third day you can visit Cork City Jail. It was a former prison but now stands as a historic building and museum that is open to the public. Visit Cork City Jail and get an insight into what life was like in a 19th century prison. It housed both male and female prisoners whose crimes were committed within the city boundaries. Before leaving Cork we had one last stop, the Black Rock Castle Observatory. 
Originally developed as a coastal defence fortification in the 16th century to protect Upper Cork Harbour and Port, the site now houses an observatory, visitor centre and a restaurant. Black Rock Castle is the oldest surviving structure still in use in the city of Cork. There is a moving ship full of beam of us. Very well, Turner. Give it the match. Fire! Cork is a good place to base yourself for three days of exploration. We hope if you do go to Cork, you enjoy it as much as we did. County Cork. Three days in Cork City. Don't forget to like and subscribe.